Hey people, it is Connor Elaine here, just hanging out, want to um, kind of give you a deep dive into the insurance claim process, but on the side of handling it independently. Sometimes when it, uh, you actually file a claim in regards to a Turo claim, you have the option of going through the traditional Turo claim, and Turo also in a phenomenal manner gives you a great option to actually resolve independently. Sometimes this is actually a great way to actually resolve the situation and usually both parties can typically win in these type of situations because for example, oftentimes a lot of guests might have a really high deductible and then say they like damage your tire, for example, or run into or get a nail in the tire and they have like a say, for example, a $3,000 deductible, they have to pay a $3,000 deductible typically um, or to fix your car and sometimes that's just inconvenient. So sometimes a better option is to actually just talk to them directly and um, just allow them to pay you directly. Um, but for the first thing to actually get into being able to even accept money from a guest, you must file the claim first. After the claim process, you have 20 days after the claim state um, to allow Turo to manage the claim. So what this means is, say a claim happens, right? You file the claim, you must file the claim so this does not become a gray market transaction. So, so for example, if you run over, if your guest runs over something and damages a tire or gets in an accident and it's their fault, of course, then what happens is typically you have the choice of them going through their own third party insurance or through Turo's guest insurance or to handle it independently. If it's handled independently, typically, uh, Turo prefers for you to accept the money through, like, say, electronic fashion, like maybe Venmo, Zelle, etc. Some type of uh, electronic um, app, so it shows a transaction from them to you, and that documents it, it signifies it. If they do pay you cash, which you can accept cash, you want to get a note or something that uh, stipulates and states that uh, that guest, uh, per the damage, is paying you a set amount and sign it take a picture of their driver license in it with them in the picture holding the receipt and take a close-up of it and you sign as well and then that's fine too uh, you want this document as much as possible so that there's no funny business and you want to uh, make sure if you do receive cash payment or electronic tr uh, payment from Zelle cash app or Venmo or something like that always make sure you get the full amount of whatever it costs don't break up the payments and the reason why you don't want to break up the payments for example if say a guest owes you a thousand dollars and you're like hey let me pay you 500 today and 500 tomorrow you don't want to do that and the reason you don't want to you can do that though you can but the reason it's not encouraged is because and what happens if the guest disappears it goes AWOL and they paid with five hundred dollars and they run off that's your claim, baby. That's that's about it. Oh, well, you can't at that point. You have to do so much. You have to give them back the money. Say they don't want to cooperate and pay the rest of it, which can happen. You have to give them back the money for for Turo to step in. If you took money from them, it stops and halts the the, the claim process, and Turo won't manage your claim at that point. If you accept it one penny or a dollar any finance from the guest, so. If they're not gonna pay you in full, do not accept the payment plan because if they only pay you one payment and leave, that's on you. You don't get paid and now you, you get left holding the bag. So always make sure you keep, you, you, and they make them pay the full amount of wherever they owe for the damage that they caused to your vehicle. Very, very important. And always, like I said before, before you accept any money, file the claim first. Once you file the claim, you'll have the option to file directly, file insurance claim directly with Turo or to handle independently always make sure you do that so it documents that there is a claim and so it's not a gray market transaction a gray tra market transaction is when you take money from a guest um, in a fashion where they pay you say a tip or something not allowed at this time so don't do it don't take any money from a guest let it all go through the app and then document the claim process very very important people always do it that way and but solving it but going through independently can really help you and your guests because oftentimes uh, what happens is that if the deductible is too high, um, you usually can actually just settle and they can pay a lot less, which is less on them. So they don't have to pay, say, a big $3,000 deductible or $250 deductible or $1,000 deductible. Say they cost some damage that's $25, maybe they broke a key, maybe they create a, create a small, insignificant, minimal amount of damage. You don't want to uh, like charge them a high amount, leaves them with a bad experience, especially if they will probably cooperate it with you and just pay you out. So always consider possibly, and Turtle does encourage uh, trying to resolve independently because usually it's faster. Second, usually it's a clear understanding. And third, you usually save money on both sides. And, and minus because when you remove Turo, they, there's no extra fees they have to pay for management, no fees you have to pay in general. You just pay directly for whatever the damage was caused, nothing extra. So highly recommend it. You don't have to go and settle independently. You have the choice to always settle through Turo directly or independently, up to you. And But 
this is a video on how to properly go about it. The next step, once you actually file, say, an independent claim, you want to make sure to document as much information as possible, and you want to make sure to send as many messages as possible through Toro so that it's all document, documented and stipulated and stated. Very, very important. So do that, and then when you actually document the, uh, the, uh, the accident uh, claim that you're filing um, to actually resolve independently, what you want to do once you actually get paid, notify Toro, of course, and that's basically it. It's a pretty simple process. You just got to make sure to actually do your part to accept. Always, always figure out how much certain parts of the car cost. Figure out how much it costs to uh, purchase a new bumper. P figure out how much it costs to uh, purchase a tire. So this way you can actually figure out all the pieces and parts of how much your car costs. If you don't know, use your best friend Google. Bing, Yahoo, some type of search engine, go to your local mechanic, dealership, etc. Figure out what the prices are and try to get the best price, of course. Same way you would buy a car, try to buy it in the wedge and get a good uh, deal, try to get a good deal on parts. And what this will do is you'll be able to simply tell your guests how much the parts are. And if not, what you can even do is allow them to speak directly with the dealership or the establishment that you're going to be purchasing the damaged part from. So, say for example, say they bust your, say they got an accident and your, your bumper is damaged and they owe you for their bumper, have them call. Like tell them the prices and if they need extra peace of mind if they don't take your word for it or they're kind of skeptical then at that point what you have to do is let, give them the number to the dealership or wherever you're buying the tire from or the body shop and then have them speak with them about the tire the damaged bumper etc and that's just a good way so you give peace of mind and clear transparency for you and the guest um, another thing is that that's what you can do to help the guests as well so they better understand so they can feel more comfortable paying you because it is a different process and no one likes dealing with the claim or paying out money but it's a necessary it's, an, it's a necessity um, but at this point you have to do that and then worst case you might see you have 20 days from the date of the accident claim that when it's filed to, uh, to actually uh, file for this and if for some reason you and the guests can't come to uh, the middle of figuring out what should be paid, what shouldn't be paid. If they don't want to cooperate, if you don't want to cooperate, then you can allow Toro to take it over. Or even if the guest says, hey, I'd rather just go through Toro, you can let them take over, let Toro take over for that point. But if you can both get into, a, get a resolution and figure out and come in the middle, both you guys can actually figure out a common price and they can pay you through, like I said, Zelle, Venmo, some type of electronic um, app or some type of uh, website so that you can actually get it documented electronically that they paid you in full, not in payments, remember, in full. Um, and that's the best thing to do. If you do take cash, make sure you get everything signed, get their driver license, take a picture of it, and make sure they pay you in full as well. Very, very important. I uh, just want to help you guys out because the more you, um, this, in every business, there's, there's a risk and liability. And I'm basically teaching you guys the one, the way of actually being an actuary and also being a uh, risk manager. I'm, trying to, I'm, I'm a business consultant by trade. I've been insurance licensed for over eight years. I specialize in risk management and asset and risk, um, uh, basically risk management and also uh, risk reduction. So I want to teach you guys that as well. And just so I'm teaching you guys a little bit on how to manage risk. So the more you manage your risk, you actually are now taking into consideration on how to actually manage it properly. So risk will happen, but you have to manage it properly. So the way you manage it, you figure out how much the parts cost of your car. You figure out your locations, become best friends with all the mechanics in your area, all the buy shops in the area. The more, give them business so that when, when it counts, they'll give you discounts. There's guys I know, I take my car to them, they fix it even faster because they know me and they give me great deals. It's, it's phenomenal, you know what I mean? It really works out, they know you, they get to know you, build more rapport with you. And they almost give you a little bit of favoritism. You know, I mean, just how it is. When you give people business, they want to help you. You're helping them, they help you. It's this whole perpetual cycle of love and care and uh, giving business. You treat a business well, they treat you good typically. So please figure out, uh, go on Google, go online. I keep saying Google because it should be your best friend at this point. Make sure to get a list of at least 20 or 30 different uh, body shops, um, at least 10 different dealerships uh, that your cars are affiliated with and figure out and become their friends. Stop by, give them some cookies, um, introduce uh, yourself to them, bring, give them business, paint shops in your area, find, find out uh, who gives you the best prices, 
And now going forward, when a claim happens, so you can resolve independently, now you became friends with these people, they see your cars, and now they'll give you a deal because they know you personally and they want your business to stay there and not go somewhere else. Understand the psychology of that. So this is a tip, this is a big deeper dive, but I'm really trying to teach you guys on how to actually resolve claims independently because it's gonna happen. It's part of business. Tour was a phenomenal idea, phenomenal business plan. I highly uh, recommend it and believe in it. I love the culture of it and it's been a great opportunity and I know it's gonna be a great opportunity for you all as well. But risk happens and liabilities happen. Every business has risks and every business has liabilities. It's just a part of the nature of the business. So it's all about managing the risk properly. And this is how you do it, people. Uh, hopefully I did at least a decent job. Uh, just uh, wanted to really share that with you guys. I was sitting here hanging out, just getting some sunlight and hanging out, just enjoying myself. But I just wanted to give you guys that tip. Make sure if you're gonna um, file a claim, consider it independently. Uh, it's a, definitely a great opportunity. You can save a lot more money, typically you don't have to pay a deductible at all, no money out of pocket, so that means you pay nothing out of pocket, so you benefit in that way, and the guest basically has to pay for the damage they cause, but you're also saving them because they don't have to pay such a big deductible, and it's usually a faster process, and you get it done faster, and it's usually you help some out and helps you out, and you make more money that way because you pay no deductible. So that's what I highly, highly recommend people, and just do your best. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank you for staying tuned. Carl Lane, peace out.